Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and for today's Linux video, we're going to take a look at GNOME extensions. After yesterday's review of Ubuntu GNOME 1604, I received actually a couple of requests on my recommendations for GNOME extensions, so that's what we're going to take a look at today. Um, and you know, this is kind of a hard thing because you know everybody's workflow is a little bit different. Everybody is kind of wired a little bit different. So what I really like isn't may you know it may not necessarily be you know what works out for you that sort of thing. But uh, you know I'll show you the ones that I like and and you know that sort of thing and uh, you can go from there. Uh, give them a try, draw your own conclusions, all that kind of stuff. So. Um, I guess probably the place to start was with the GNOME Tweak tool, so let's open that up, which is installed by default, and if you just go down to where it says extensions, <clears throat> it's going to show you all of the pre-installed extensions, and you can see by default, pretty much everything is turned off. Now, some of the extensions that I really like are already here. Um, this places status indicator. I use this one all the time. Click that one on. And so that gives you a places menu up in your top bar. So you click on that and it'll show you, you know, all your various places. And one of the cool things about this this indicator is as you bookmark things in within uh, Nautilus File Manager, those bookmarks will show up. Um, I believe it's down here right below computers where they'll show up and as you can see um, you know we talked about the um, uh, the Google Drive integration uh, uh, in, in Nautilus files yesterday you can see my Google Drive is showing up right down here so uh, you know this is one of those extensions I really like and let me take a look at what else is installed by default um, if you want to go and use some custom themes, uh, you know, non the, anything other than Adwata um, for your shell theme, you're going to want to turn on this user themes extension. That will allow you to use other shell themes. Uh, re removable drive menu. That one can be pretty uh, pretty useful. And right now, you're not going to see anything pop up on my uh, on my top bar just because I don't have any um, removable drives installed. But once you do, you'll um, right over here, right next to your tray, you're going to see a little um, a little pop up that'll uh, give you some options as far as your removable drives. Um, they have one menu that uh, you know a, a traditional menu installed by default and we'll click that one on here and so now if you click on that here's the menu that you get now I'm not there's some other menus available in the extensions which I like better than this one I, I really don't care for this one mainly because it has no search functionality built into it um, granted you've already got the search built into uh, the dash but you know that's just kind of how I'm wired with menus. I'm going to go ahead and turn that one back off. And you can see there's there's other uh, extensions that are installed by default. Um, for the most part I really don't use these. And this one might be for those that use multiple workspaces uh, this one might be uh, useful for you and it'll give you a workspace indicator up in the top bar. You see where it popped up right up here. So you know I'm on workspace number one right now say uh, you had two open you know there'd be a one there'd be a two so on so forth that sort of thing so let's go and open up Firefox and we'll get some more extensions now you can just click on install shell or um, get more extensions right here and that'll open up your Firefox browser take you right to uh, the GNOME extension page and first time you go here you'll see you get this message we cannot detect a copy of GNOME running on the system come up here where it says allow you know to run GNOME shell integration click allow and then click allow and remember and then you're going to need to uh, restart this site and now what will happen is um, it, 
the the site will detect what version of uh, GNOME Shell you're running, and it will only show you uh, extensions that are compatible with that particular uh, uh, version of GNOME Shell. So anyway, let's uh, let's kind of go through here. I got a, I made myself a short list of ones, and I've already talked about a couple of them. Um, we'll start with that menu thing. You know, we're, I was talking that. Um, I didn't care for the menu that uh, that's installed by default and let's just type in menu and it'll show you a whole bunch of different options um, this no menu that's the one that I prefer and that kind of gives you a view of what uh, what it looks like we'll go in and install that just so you can take a look at it so to install an extension you see you got the little switch over here just click and it'll give you a message do you want to install it click install and boom it's installed so and let me slide this out of the way for now so taking a look at it you can click on this view button and then that'll give you a view of you know your whole overview if you click on apps it shows all of your apps and then click on the menu button and it gives you this menu here it's got a search function built into it um, uh, you can, you know, it's got some favorites, uh, it's categorized, just all kinds of options there. And then you can go to preferences and there's all kinds of stuff that you can, you can tweak with this particular, um, uh, menu. So that's my preferred menu. If I, if I'm going to use a menu, um, let's go and we'll take a look at some of the others though. If you want just a basic like a traditional drop down menu let me see if I can find it here um, is it this one yeah this one right here it gives you an old style you know um, uh, the long thin I don't know how you want to describe that type of menu um, lists all the categories you hover over the categories and and it'll show you everything in that category um, you know, if you want that kind of menu, there's an option for you right there. Another extension that I find really useful is Top Icons. And there's actually, uh, there's, there's the traditional Top Icons, which I've been using for a long time, and then there's new, this new fork, Top Icons Plus. Essentially what Top Icons does is it shows the legacy tray icons in your top bar. So, you know, your Dropbox icon, you're going to get that back and, and some other legacy uh, uh, icons. Uh, top Icons Plus has taken it one step further and it gives you some configuration options. So let's click and install that one. And generally on, on uh, Top Icons, Oh, there it starts working. I was going to say I think you've got to uh, to reboot, but it doesn't look like you need to. So anyway, that gets you those legacy tray icons right up here, right next to your tray. Um, so I've I've always uh, installed this one. Another one, if you uh, if you're a doc kind of person, there is um, dash to doc, and there's other. Um, uh, doc applications that you can or extensions that you can add but I think this is the best one by far um, and they've, they've they've continued to refine it over the years so uh, definitely I think is this is the uh, the doc icon to go with so you install dash to doc let me go move this out of the way and so now you can see when I when I move over to the side, you know I've got a my my dock appears for me. Um, let me go ahead and restart the tweak tool so it shows all of these uh, um, extensions that I've just installed. And let's go down and you can go and there's all kinds of tweaks that you can make to dash to dock. Uh, so position and sizing you can go and you know right now it's in the default position but if you want to go and move it so you know I've got two monitors if I want to move it to the secondary monitor I can 
where it shows up on the screen so if you want it down on the bottom you can do that you can go to the top to the right left um, I'm just going to keep it over here on the left and you can resize the dock you can resize the icons on the dock so if you want to shrink them down or uh, you know grow them up however you want to handle it some options for view behavior do you want to show favorites show running icons you know what do you want to show that kind of thing um, theming all kinds of stuff that you can do with dash to dock so um, if you're looking for a dock I think that one is your best option caffeine is another extension I use all the time let's do a little search for that one there we go all it, all it does is it disables the screensaver and auto suspend so let's go and install that one and so you see the get got the little coffee cup here on the top if you go and click on that and when you can see the steam rising from the cup that means that uh, your your screensaver is and auto suspend are disabled and let's go back home with that and um, you know at least for me that oh there's one other one um, and that is the multi monitor add-on this is really only going to be useful for you if you're using multiple monitors um, but it allows you to get that top bar across all of your monitors and uh, a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of options there depending on how you want things set up so um, very useful if you're running uh, multiple monitors now as far as uh, tweaking extensions getting rid of, rid of them if you did find out you didn't want them um, there's essentially two different routes that you can go while you're in Firefox you can go to installed extensions and from here you can remove them you know just if you go over here and click the X it'll uninstall a particular one like let, let's get rid of the gnome menu we'll just get rid of that and boom it's gone you could also just turn them on turn them off from here um, besides Firefox you can use the tweak tool and let me go and restart the tweak tool just so it's refreshed <clears throat> and just go to extensions and it's similar to what I showed you in Firefox if you hit the little gear icon it'll allow you to make changes uh, you know go through all your preferences that sort of thing um, if you want to get rid of something you know just hit the remove button now you can see a lot of these removes are whited out you can't remove those those are ones that were in dis, uh, installed by default in, by uh, Ubuntu GNOME so you're kinda stuck with those now you don't have to run them you can leave them turned off uh, but you can't uninstall them and uh, having said that I think that about finishes this video up like I said there, there's tons of extensions out there um, and I mean one of the things that I that I've done for for a long time just go to see where you, where you've got your sword option right here just go to recent and that way you can see what you know what are the latest extensions that uh, that have been uh, uploaded and uh, you know take a look at and see if there's something that fits your fancy because you know a lot of this stuff it's you know it's not going to be for everybody it's going to be uh, you know really specific for you know one particular not one particular person set of needs but you know one uh, one group or, or whatnot um, you know like here for example we've got this AMD toolkit temperature monitor for AMD GPUs uh, fan control that sort of thing obviously this is completely useless extension for anybody that's got an uh, an Intel um, GPU or uh, you know processor or whatnot um, so you know that's the kind of thing I'm talking about um, so like I said just kind of go through the extensions see what you like and that sort of thing um, you know I've tried to outline the ones that I thought were useful and, and worked well for me in the past but you know everybody's gonna be different on this but anyway that finishes things up as always thanks a lot for watching please leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below and uh, if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I hope to see you all on my next video thanks a lot